go. Ready, set, go. Fire the pistol. Let this trip. I mean, story to start. I got this poem in my soul and I can feel it. It's a poem in my soul. I got this poem in my heart. There's a fire of love. Giving the agave of agape. See, it's this poem in my heart. There's this story in my poem. It's deep in my mind and I just want to tell it all. So, ready, set, go. So on behalf of Horace Gardner, I would like to welcome you to a poet's story. We hope you enjoy your feature presentation. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. You have now made it to episode 10? 10? Chapter 3? Of the second half of this here season? So I would like to thank you on behalf of A Heart's Garden for tuning in. And I hope you guys have been enjoying your presentation. Now, there's two sep- episodes left in season 1. And then there will be a as I've been letting you guys know that there will be an intermission that follows after us. To keep, to keep y'all entertained while season two is being written. Now, please subscribe to my YouTube, my podcast, and follow me at A Heart's Garden on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, SoundCloud, etc. Every outlet that you can find me on. I would be under a heart's garden. Now, and also head over to Amazon and get you a copy of the Priceless Diamond. Well, here we go, guys. I'm a painter of words and a creative art. I am a poet. I make words come to life. So let's get back into this story. Chapter 4. Eva Genius. Just smile. Now, chapter 4 and chapter 5 would be pretty pretty short so let's sum it all up in this one right now after that the night was over he knew it was coming to an end he knew it he could tell so eventually he waited to closer to the time around the holidays cause he wanted to give her at least another try so he goes home for thanksgiving and she still couldn't come see him. And so they end up having a conversation and they end up breaking up. That was mutual. No hard feelings on both ends. But it was just like, for real, I just wasted a lot of my time just to get just to get back to the same position I was. As Cameron is thinking in his head, he started to wonder, was it really worth it? What really happened? But he realized, hmm, I got my freedom back. I can, I can, I can go out here and have fun. No limits, no boundaries. Cool. So after Cameron has this moment within himself, he's like, okay, let's let's keep it pushing. Now everything started to look on the bright side. Now the psych the psycho didn't get it get a full lap. The young the young buck the young buck learned to watch the signs. Now when I said short, I did mean short. So this episode is pretty much about over. Now it's crazy 
how we end up at this point. But oh well. Cameron is single again, and it sucks. But it's great because I'm free, says Cameron. Now guess what? Here's chapter four. Riding on a road that only teaches you lessons. Problems, mistakes, circumstances, telling a story that punishes you. In your mind and your heart, telling lies that only feels like the truth. Wait a minute. Can I rewrite life, love, happiness? Can I repaint a storyboard that only creates a picture of peace? Now let's look to the sky. As the sun warms the land, feeds the body, fills the world with heat and love, makes a bright new day, this starts a new vision, a new moment. Yet, these thoughts are all unknown secrets. I mean, they were always more beneath the surface. I smile with a smirk. I laugh as I think. I take a moment, learn what's coming next, not coming for me. But another evil thoughts changes the story, changes the understanding of or the meaning of the heart. Life loved with relationships, so with a smile, a plan unfold. But wait, nothing in this poem has meaning, it all paints a picture that only shows a road, that only teaches us lessons. Everything is a lie. But I know you thought it was also oh true. Goodbye. Now, head on over. Click the next episode. Because episode 11 is also posted. Chapter 5, which is also the season finale of season 1. is available as well along with this post. Now, follow me on our social media. Once again, there's my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Tumblr. This podcast is also available on iHeartMedia, iTunes, YouTube, Spreaker. Go check it out. And coming soon, we'll be live on Spotify as well. So, check it out. And if you haven't already, get you a copy of The Priceless Diamond. Please go get you a copy of The Priceless Diamond. The book is amazing. The poems are amazing. The story is amazing. Book number two coming out soon. Just wait on it. Well, that's the end of chapter four. And like I said at the beginning, I'm just a painter of words and a creator of art. I am a poet. I make words come to life.